What is up, my dill pickles? It's your boy Bobby, and today um, it is Sunday morning. Subscribe, subscribe, turn on notifications, like this video, and also get your waffles out because this video is going to be crazy. So what what we have today is Good Morning America ranting about Fortnite. Well. Yeah, well, they're going to be saying how bad Fortnite is, quote-unquote, bad it is. Or just not. It's pretty good. It's actually a really good game. So, let's get into that. Do it. A cover story, a parenting alert about a popular video game so many kids are playing. An alert. Are you serious? An alert. For the best game ever. Let you, let you... Let the kids play, okay? The parents probably don't That's play. That's right, Robin. Video games are facing some new scrutiny this morning. President Trump has announced he's meeting with video game executives next week to discuss violent content following the deadly Florida school shooting. This is a new game. Sure, delete Fortnite. Called Fortnite is drawing millions of players, and some parents are worrying their kids are spending way too much time at the controls. Nerds! Those parents are nerds, okay? Um, if it's what about on the weekends the parents are stupid like if i understand you can be mad at sometimes sometimes at kids playing fortnite or playing too much video games but just let them play sometimes at least on the weekend like i mean you you it's still okay to do homework you still have no choice to do homework but just seriously can you, um, just let your kids play Fortnite? It's the online game that has fans in a frenzy. Fortnite's objective? Players in the game's free Battle Royale version join teams and battle up to... I'm pretty sure the picture before that was Save the World. That will save the world the picture before. So. 100 yeah. others to be the last person. And actually, 99 others. Actually. Unless you're in duos or squads. If you're in squads and you're battling 96 plus six players. Or duos. Standing. The multiplayer or melee. Chatting. Drawing comparisons to blockbuster franchise The Hunger Games. I volunteer as tribute. With millions of users, from kids to even celebrities like Chance the Rapper, Joe Jonas, and Steelers wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster caught up in the craze. I'm at this party right now, and all I'm thinking about is Fortnite. Over 40 million. You ain't gonna stop these celebrities from playing Fortnite. You don't have anything against these celebrities. They're celebrities, okay? They're allowed to do whatever they want because they have an awesome life. Ah, I wish I was a celebrity. ...to play this game. So the crazy part is, chances are you know somebody who's enjoying it. And with the option for users to buy upgrades and bonus features... There's no upgrades. You can't buy upgrades in Fortnite. And you can't buy bonus features. Like that. You can kind of, but the, you have to buy... The only thing you can buy is skins and emotes. And battle... And the battle pass. But the battle path all it gives you is just all the skins from the new season free. And all the new emotes and everything. And all the cosmetics and accessories. The company reportedly raking in big bucks off the game's big buzz. It wouldn't surprise me if they were making hundreds upon hundreds of thousands on any given day. In fact, maybe even over a million. For some parents. Hmm, let me guess why. Maybe because it's number one most trending game. It's been number one most trending game for nine months. Nine months now. Let's see if it started being number one most trending. Let me just count quickly. January is when it started being number one most trending. It, it was in November. It was starting to be in November, but 
it got passed by Lords Mobile, and then for some reason, and then Fortnite became number one most trending, and it still is today. Maybe now you'll know why Fortnite makes over a hundred thousand dollars a day. Good job, Fortnite. I, you're doing pretty good. Fortnite's popularity is now a cause for concern. I mean, I just love this game. It's great. Amy Selling says her kids are so caught up in the game, she sometimes won't see them for hours after school. They downloaded it around November, December. Around that time, I guess that's when they slowly started to disappear. She wrote about her experience in a blog titled, How I Lost My Children to Fortnite. The well, I'm going to go find that website, and if that thing is still on, that um, I'll report the blog post. Haha. <laughs> post garnering big response from other parents across the country. Everyone's sort of struggling with the same thing. How much time do we let our children actually play this where they're not fighting? I have the urge to fight this lady. If she was playing Fortnite, I would probably eliminate her. Yeah, she um I she would be pretty annoying cuz she is like hates Fortnite, so I'd actually fight her. I just have the urge to like fight her in real life because like she's just saying Fortnite's such a bad game. It's your opinion if you hate Fortnite, but you don't have to make a whole news report about it. And they think they've had enough time and I'm not the bad guy. And it's not only Fortnite. Just this year in a controversial decision Again, another save the world. Rodan. The World Health Organization officially recognized gaming disorder as a mental health issue. The American Academy what the heck? <laughs> Gaming disorder. <laughs> Get, oh my god. Gaming disorder. Gaming disorder. Are you serious? You're telling your kids that there's a disease or a problem called gaming disorder. I, I play Fortnite a lot. I play Fortnite all all day. I play Fortnite when I get home from school and on the weekends I'm pretty much always online except when I post stuff on YouTube. I'm mostly on Xbox or PlayStation, PS4 playing Fortnite. But yeah, and I've never gotten gaming disorder. I've been playing since December 18th and I've always been playing Fortnite and I've never gotten gaming disorder since that time. So yeah, why don't you go laugh at yourself? If pediatrics advises parents to place consistent limits on screen time, making sure it doesn't take the place of adequate sleep. Let's see what this was uploaded. March 2nd. This was, screen, this was before screen time on iOS was around. Was around. Oh, and also October 21st, 2016. Fortnite was not around back then. It was still in development. And the, you could download a developer beta, but it, you'd only get Save the World. Or, which wasn't even called Save the World. It was just Online Test 6, which was like, see, was like the seasons. Physical activity and other behaviors essential to health. But for worried parents, Fortnite's social aspect may actually have a positive effect. The beauty of video games is they're moving from being solo experiences to more social experiences that invite people to come together and bond over a shared positive activity. To further the discussion, let's bring in clinical and sports psychologists. Up. Yeah, you dummy. You could just, you know, if you're mad at your kids for playing in solo, you could just play in duos or squads. It's so easy. Good, Jonathan Fader. And um, Jonathan, thank you for joining us. From a clinical perspective, what well, let's see what this guy has to say about Fortnite. That we've seen before, and how does it affect the brain? Listen, when you mentioned Fortnite here in the studio, there were people high fiving. I saw a bunch of teenagers in the studio high fiving. This is a viral game. People are so into this game, and the thing that makes Fortnite so different is it's so interactive, Michael. I mean, people.